One of my favorite tools for having kids show what they know is ThingLink. Highly recommend you explore this tool, make some of your own, and encourage your kids of all ages to start creating with ThingLink. You go to thinglink.com and create an account. And once you're set, <clears throat> there's uh, they're going to ask you to try to you know join some streams and and, and search some content. You could do uh, what you'd like to do, but I think it's really good to note that you can search for good content on ThingLink. You don't have to create all of it uh, if you're looking for your students, and so you could just search by any kind of topic you're looking for. You can, um, if you find something you like, let's say you're doing something with addition, and you want to look for some good thing links that have to do with addition. Um, if you see one you really like, then you can um, click on it, open it up. You always have to check them though. It's really important you check all the links on a thing link. This one looks really tiny. Uh, and you just double check. It looks like they're just links to some pages. Uh, I might not love this one. But if I did love it, I would click this heart right here. And I would, that's a touch. And what that does is it puts it uh, in my collection. So you can, I'll take you to my collection of some of them that I really have been liking. Um, these are images that I've made in my uh, collection. And then here are the ones that I've uh, touched on that I want to make sure I can get back to. Um, there's some really great ones in here. Uh, if we're doing a show what you know, I think sometimes it just gives you a good idea of what you can create with these. I found this great fraction one. And really what you're looking for is any kind of an image that you can upload. You can then add links or hotspots all over this image. So if I hover on this image, you can see that there's spots all over it and in every corner. You can upload videos. You can upload um, links to websites, anything with a link to it. You can also just put text. So if I was talking about um, a part of this um, or a place on the number line, uh, it doesn't always have to be a link. It can just be a text. If you're trying to do definitions, I think that would be a great way to um, have a student show what they know with definitions. I was thinking about that with like geometry terms. So while we're at it, actually, I was um, wanting to show how to make one real quick. So if you click the Create button, and speaking of math vocabulary, if I was a student and I wanted to show you what I know um, about uh, a term, I, I've actually captured an image. It's on my desktop, so I'm, I just clicked on Choose Image. I'm going to grab this screenshot. Now, it's kind of in a hurry. It's kind of blurry. It's not the best shot. But let's say I just wanted to um, have my students show me what they know about this image. Ooh, it's really blurry. All right, I encourage you to use better images than this. So um, it's going to put me right away into edit mode. You'll see that um, this dark uh, box shows up and it says click anywhere to add a tag. So at some point I can um, click right there and if I want to add a tag there, this is the point where you can add um, a link um, out to any kind of URL or I can just add text. And so at this point I may just want to um, define this into intersecting lines and I can save the tag. Now if I wanted to I could also change the color of the tag if I want to color code them um, and leave it like this. Alright, so if I scroll back out and if I um, save this I can hover over this then and once I'm on the image it's taking a little bit to load here once I'm on this image, doing all sorts of things here, it will just give me the definition. Now imagine if the students posted in there a link of themselves talking about this or um, showing this in real life. They could put links all over this image. Just a quick way to um, get kids to show what they know. To get it off of here, you click Share and they can share, this is the link to it. They can also email it. Uh, you can also embed these in a Google site. Be sure though, if you're going to do that, to click iframe embed, copy this whole link, and then you can um, embed it into your Google site. 
which would be, of course, another tutorial video. So, great tool to use. I suggest everyone try it.